these turkeys. Look at them. I usually have a few blue jays out here, but today they're not around. Look at the sky. I'm gonna show you the sky. It's kind of dry. This is the red velvet cake that I just baked from the recipe. And what I'm doing is laying it into the bottom of my pan. And I'm just going to piece it together. Pieces here that we're gonna put in there. So that's filled up like that. Then I'm going to take some Bailey's Original Irish Cream and mix it with I've got a half a cup of coffee that's been cooled and I'm going to put this in here about another half cup and I'm going to just pour it over like this just kind of soak that in so it's really good and soaked I'm going to save the rest of it my next layers but right now I'm gonna make the cream okay so what I have to next is I'm gonna put in my mixer is one half cup of confectioners sugar or you make in the in the European countries you may call it icing sugar and then I've got one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream and one block of cream cheese a quick and easy Valentine dessert. I cut some of the red cake, the red velvet cake, into squares. I'm going to pour some Baileys on it. Just to kind of soak in. So delicious. So I've got my mixture. This was the confectioner's sugar. I just beat it into stiff peaks. And this is just a little trifle dish that you can serve to your honey. That's some whipped chocolate to the top. 
and put even more whipped cream on that. Make it even more festive. And that you can also just sprinkle a little bit of the cocoa powder on top of that. And there you have your beautiful Valentine's red velvet tiramisu truffles. If you prefer to make yours non-alcoholic, just use strong coffee with a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract or imitation rum extract, and you'll get the same thing. came over. The squirrel has to be really fast to get to get one. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? I've got one more nut in my hand. I'll probably give it to you here. There you go. That's the last one. That's the last one. We're done. Don't have any more. Don't have any more to give you. <laughs> so close to me. Look at those beautiful eyes. Wow. 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 There's the squirrels. Look. There they are. Two of them. Oh boy. The whole family's coming in. They said, oh, she's giving walnuts. Get away, get away, get away. <laughs> oh, they're getting aggressive, they're hungry. Let's go get them some nuts. Going to put some of that in there. Oh, boy. Actually, I should have. First, I'm going to put some of this in the bottom. over my beautiful cake. Put a little more of this on top. Cream cheese mixture. Put that on top. Mm. A little cocoa powder. And let's see how it tastes. I can't wait to try it. Look at that. Just beautiful. The red is Valentine's -y. The Bailey's is a romantic cocktail. The whipped cream is very sensual and yummy. And here goes nothing. Mmm. Mmm. delicious. Then, it tastes just like tiramisu. Mm. Tiramisu trifle with a red velvet cake mix. Easy and perfect for your romantic party. Yummy! I've got my cream filling here. Just spread that right on there. Out to every single corner. Like that. And then we'll add more cocoa powder to that.
And this is unsweetened Dutch processed cocoa powder. And then we'll add another layer of our red velvet cake. I'm going to set it, setting it right in there. This one. A little bit, push it down. And then I'm going to pour a little bit more of my Baileys and coffee mixture on top of that. Soak it up. Really good. And then more of the cream. This really turns out beautiful. And then we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about three, four hours until it sets up. So that's about all we can get into this pan. You see, I lined it with parchment paper. Plenty of this creamy topping. And we're just gonna do this. More, whoops. It's okay, we got a little bit extra. And we're gonna completely cover it with the powder. see how that sets up. Since it's going to be in the refrigerator. And that will keep it nice and smooth. That helps to kind of smooth it out. It's got all that powder, cocoa powder on top. So you can even Press it down and smooth it a little bit before you put it in the fridge. 